Good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's Pure Business. My name is Kimberly Buck, and I am part of your sales and training team. Super happy to be here with you tonight. Like always, every Tuesday night, right? It's kind of like our date night. <laughs> so um, for those of you that are new to Pure Business, I always like to give a heads up that we are recording tonight's training. And I just wanted to double check. <laughs> uh, we are recording tonight's training, and you'll be able to find it on the Pure Romance Consultant, no, the the Pure Romance uh, YouTube Partner Training YouTube site. It's a lot to say. <laughs> so uh, we have a treat for you tonight. We have um, several, several trainers for you tonight. As you can see on the screen, there's a couple, uh, Cheryl's picture and, and our interpreter that, uh, yeah, we won't be talking, but, <laughs> um, but we have several trainers. And uh, I wanted to start off by telling you the reason that we chose each of these trainers. So um, these trainers, and I will, I will introduce them to you in a moment, they all have experienced growth. They all had a fantastic, well, two of them I know had a fantastic uh, launch with their business, and um, all of them have experienced growth in 2021. So if you've been with us for a little bit, you know that we've kind of said 2020 was an anonymous Anon oh, here I am trying to say that word again, anomaly, <laughs> um, because it was like, it was, it was a, a really good year for a lot of people, right? We had a great year during, during the major part of the pandemic. Um, but these folks, these trainers have actually had a great year compared to even last year. So that's why we wanted to make sure to put them in front of you. I'm super excited to let you learn from them. They have a lot of great things to share. So let me just jump right in and do their formal introductions. So first off, you'll see Ashley Lysing, and she is an advanced director her, who serves on our board of directors. She's been with Pure Romance for two years. She lives in Minnesota with her husband, Trevor, her daughter, Peyton, and her son, Troy. And let me share her personal statistics, personal sales. $133,410.50. Activations, if that didn't blow your mind, activations already this year, 45. Team sales, 284000 385. So fantastic numbers, right? Personal numbers. So Ashley considers her greatest strength is being able to connect with people, as you can see from those numbers, right? A book that has had a big impact on Ashley is Girl Stop Apologizing. And I hope as we share these books that have had a big impact on the trainers, the leaders that we're putting in front of you, I hope that you're jotting them down so that you can stay a student and read some of these books as well. A fun fact about her, and I always love this fun fact, she turned down a career with the FBI to go full time with her pure romance business. What? What does that say about us? Yay. <laughs> so Ashley is super proud of earning both yacht and incentives and is on track to hit board again. We asked Ashley, what does live alive mean to her? And she shared financial freedom and freedom of time to do things she and her family have always wanted to do. So you guys give a big shout out to Ashley in the chat. I know she's representing the all-star team tonight. So uh, next up, we have Sadie Holst. She is a senior director who serves also on our board of directors. She's been with Pure Romance. She's actually the veteran of the group. She's been with Pure Romance for five years. She lives in Crystal Lake, Illinois with her boyfriend, Brandon, and their three fur babies, two dogs, Ruby and Lucy, and a horse named Tucker. <laughs> Personal sales, 156,926. Activations, 24. Team sales, 399,561. Sadie considers her greatest strength is sales. She's good at making sure people or guests enjoy themselves at the party and feel comfortable. Are you noticing a theme here? <laughs> Something people don't realize about Sadie is she's actually shy and it takes a minute or two for her to warm up. Sadie's team just wrapped up qualifications for another year on board, uh, making that two years in a row. 
When we asked Sadie, what does live alive mean to her? Sadie said, living in the moment, putting yourself first, putting your phone down and unplugging to actually enjoy family and friends. So big shout out to Sadie in the chat. And finally, last but I, I never understand when people say last but not least, I guess least because you're a rock star too, Susie. So Susie Hendrick is an advanced director who serves on our President's Club. She's been with Pure Romance for only eight years months. And you're going to be blown away when you hear her numbers. She lives in China Spring, Texas, is married and has two active boys, which she told us earlier are very expensive. <laughs> uh, personal sales, $121,839. Activations, 67 Team sales, 202,775. So Susie's greatest strength is educating with humor. The Secret is You by our very own CEO, Chris Ciccinelli, is one of her, uh, the books that she has shared that's made a big impact on her. A fun fact uh, that most people don't know about Susie is she actually served in the military. So thank you so much for your service. When we asked, what does live alive mean to Susie? She said, making a difference and and having a positive impact on women's lives. So are you guys super excited to learn from these rock stars? I mean, holy cow, those numbers are fantastic. So I'm going to um, ask, we're going to start off first by asking, how are each of you doing your business now? In-person events, uh, virtually, or both? And we'll start, Ashley, how about you? I traditionally do virtual, um, but over the last like two months, I've started to do in-home. Awesome. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of doing both. I do a virtual and then I do in-home. Okay. Uh, Sadie? Um, I'm doing mostly in-home parties, but my VIP group brings in a lot of my sales as well. Um, and I do a handful of virtual parties as well. Okay. And Susie? I mostly do in-house. I'm, I'm trying to master the virtual um, parties. Now I do a lot of VIP sales for sure in my VIP group. That's really what keeps me alive. But um, in-house is my jam. And I am, again, trying to be a, a stay a student and learn the virtual ways of the virtual parties and have some successful virtual parties as well. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So here's a question I want to ask because, you know, uh, on Pure Business, we have a lot of veterans that have been in the business, but we also have several uh, new folks that have new partners that have joined our business. So starting with Sadie, what is one thing that you are glad that you started from, uh, started doing from the very beginning of your business? And then what is one thing you wish you would have started earlier? Um, one thing that I'm really glad I started doing is I started doing parties off the bat. So in-home parties, um, granted, this was almost five years ago, so we didn't have any worries about COVID, but, um, and I think I got, if I remember correctly, I got a VIP group set up pretty dang quick too. Um, and I just remember I always played a booking game at every party because I didn't want to have to come home and book parties when I could just do it while I'm already working. <laughs> um, one thing that I wish I could have, or I wish I would have started doing sooner, I'm um, definitely sponsoring. I wasn't really focused on sponsoring. I was kind of scared to do it um, because I was like, oh, no one's going to want to join my team and do what I, he's like, no one wants to sell this stuff. That's a lie. Um, but I also wish that I would have attended as many as events as I possibly could. So like our team events, um, big corporate events. Um, I don't think I've actually missed a national training since I've started, but I definitely, the more local events, just stay a student and absorb as much info as you can. Yeah. I love that advice. Um, how about Ashley? How about you? Same questions. Um, so one thing that I wish I would have started sooner would be sponsoring out of the gate. I didn't wait a long time to start sponsoring, but I remember it was like the last day of a kit sale and I just like threw it into my VIP and there was like 50 comments all of a sudden. And I was like, oh my God. So my first thing was I should have, I shouldn't have waited, but I was super nervous. I was trying to learn everything. I still don't feel like I know everything. 
Um, so I didn't do it right away, but that would be the one thing I would change because you have leaders and you have team members and you have other people that would, would it help you train and things like that. So it's not that you need to know everything. Um, and what I wish I would have done sooner would be, uh, get everyone's contact info. So I always just got like email and, um, email and address. That was about it, but I didn't have like birthdays or anniversaries or phone numbers or anything like that. And I didn't start collecting that till I was in a business for a year. So and then I had to message everyone again and say, Hey, I'm updating contact info. Give me all this info versus just getting it right away. So that would be what I would change is just getting all the info right away. Yes. And I think you both brought up, you wish you had sponsored sooner. You wish you had started sharing the business opportunity um, sooner. So <laughs> kind of leads us right into uh, Susie. How about you? What was something you did uh, that you were glad you started doing from the beginning? And what is something that you wish you would have started from the beginning? Um, I started sponsoring my first month. I think I had a girl, I started the middle of May and I probably had a girl by the middle of June. And then I probably had 10 girls by the end of July. I just, what, I mean, I started for the discount. So I was like, well, why, why wouldn't these girls want the discount? I really wasn't thinking about the whole team thing. Um, that's probably what I honestly should have started from the beginning was, you know, training for my team. And also just writing shit down <laughs> because I just literally just blew up. I bought inventory. Um, I was an, I'm a nurse. I'm still a nurse, a full-time nurse. Um, so it was really easy for me to talk to a lot of women because we were trapped in COVID and we were tired of doing hand washing and services. So for me to bring my pure romance books to them, they were like, Oh, what is this? So it was very easy for me, but I was like, yeah, let's do it with a discount. Like, why not? So that's, I started right out of the gate and I was very happy I did that. Um, I still have learned on the way of, of wording differently and not saying stuff in a certain way and definitely stayed a student in that way and learned a lot through that. So I'm excited I did that. Awesome. Um, Sadie, so you have been, and um, Jen, I see your question in the chat. That's a great question. We'll circle back to that if we have time. So um, Susie, if you see that and want to think of uh, think of, about that, that would be great because I think that's really directed towards, uh, towards you since you work full time. Um, so Sadie, you have been in the business a little bit longer than Ashley and Susie. Do you happen to have a list of things that you do every day or every month to make sure you're touching your business? Because I heard that you're really good at those things. Yeah, so um, this is probably, I've always had like in my brain, um, like, oh, I need to do this. I need to do this. I need to do this. And then I realized I was forgetting those things. So I'd be like, oh crap, I forgot to do this. And then by the time I remember to go back and do it, I had forgotten it again. So I really, um, within the past, probably started this like kind of in COVID-ish. So like a couple of years had gone by before I actually started following like a list of to-do stuff. Um, but yeah, I make um, a to-do list in Google Drive. Um, you could use Excel. If you're a pen and paper person, do pen and paper. I just, I can't print that many pieces of paper, save the earth. Okay. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I just made a to-do list in Google, um, Google Drive, that's what it's called. Um, Excel works just fine too. And it just has like my monthly stuff that I need to do. Um, and then a few things that I need to do daily because I'm such a scatterbrain. I actually don't remember to do stuff unless it's in front of me. So I just have to remember, go check your to-do list and that's it. And it makes it really easy. Um, do you want me to share that? Yeah, if you can, uh, if you can share it, and then maybe um, depending on how big the print is, share some of the things that are on that list. I think that sure. would be awesome. Okay, so let me share my screen quick. Oh, can you guys see that? Oh, that's my lab. <laughs> um, so yeah. my monthly one is really big, but it's kind of spread out throughout literally throughout the month. So this is just things that I do on the month, um, and majority of the things that are on my to-do list, business related stuff. I'm done within an hour. 
which makes it really easy for me to do my follow-up later or whatever. Um, but just a few things for like my monthly stuff, just scheduling out stuff in my VIP group, those like random things that you post in your VIP group. Like if you do like a sexual health piece on a specific day or a product feature or like um, a self-care hump day, you know, some people do like funny Fridays. I am, um, I just need to remember to schedule that out for the month. Um, I schedule a lot of stuff for my team page because I don't, I, I, I'm very active in my team page. So I want to make sure they get as much info as they can possibly get to help them succeed. Um, so I do schedule a lot for that. Um, in my monthly stuff, I just have reminders for like, Hey, don't forget to, um, I'm trying to think, um, don't forget to like, look up a date for next month that works for your virtual party or whatever type of event I'm doing in my VIP group. Um, I have reminders for stuff like uh, my subscription box, which is what I call the Ula Lust box because my pure romancy stuff is Ula Lust. Um, so I have reminders for that in there. I have reminders for like my exclusive top 10 call for my top 10 sales members for my team last month. Um, a lot of it's just like remind like four month prior restock follow up. So anyone who has ordered with me four months ago. So what is October, September, August? So it would have been July, June. So I would follow up with anyone from June who has ordered with me to make sure. And I also do like a one year ago as well. Um, I'm trying to think of other things that are sticking out. I really love about this list, Sadie, is not just, uh, first of all, it's extremely detailed, which is fantastic because you've gone through the things, you know, what you have to remind yourself of. But I also love that you put on the, on the side there, a date like a, that you should, you know, do this around this time. Um, so I, I do love that. That's the first time I've seen that. Can you show us the daily things? I think yeah. with new consultants, that would be the most, um, that that would be helpful for them, new partners. Sure. Sure. So I have like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, I am not someone who is going to work on a weekend if I don't have a party. So I I schedule my host's coaching around that because I know I'm spending time with family or doing something with friends if I'm not partying. So um, here's like my Monday to-do list. I have like personal stuff on here. I have VIP group. I have team stuff. So like hostess coaching. Um, I post once a week in my team page, like who's in the top 10 categories so they can kind of see who they need to compete with to get up in that level. Um, I try and post a massage Monday in my VIP group every month um, or every week, sorry. And that's just, I rotate through all the products. I actually got this idea from Patience Hansen. So that's not my idea. She does that like for the week. It's amazing. Um, I try and post like some sort of algorithm booster in my VIP group. That's something I probably should do every day. And I do post random ones throughout the week, but I know I need to do it at least once a week. So I just have it in there. Um, some sort of money train kind of post for my VIP group, like a rock star report, consultant stories, um, things that I've screenshotted. Um, Tuesday, I do a Toy Tuesday post. Um, I try and do some sort of like pick a number thing. So like, and the pick a number, a very, I kind of rotate through it. So one month or one week, it'll be like a sponsoring pick a number before a kit sale. Um, one time it'll be like a coupon. Sometimes it'll be like book a party, um, you know, so it's kind of different. Um, a little like plug, like, hey, I paid my gas this month. Here's my receipt to prove it, you know, just a little, because sometimes you get caught up on like, oh, I don't like, like some people like think they have to like post their mortgage or something, but really there's some people who $50 to fill your tank right now is expensive. If they could have 50 bucks a month to fill their tank once or twice, like that's, you know, there's some people out there that could really use that. So just little things like that for Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, I do a wet and wild Wednesday. So, and a hump day post. Um, so I post like one of our, um, lubricants or enhancement creams, sort of that line. Um, I'm trying to think, um, I follow up with the previous week's new VIPs. So I always welcome my new VIPs once a week and I'll show you here in a few days or in a few uh, tabs here, what I do for that. Um, 
uh, th uh, what is Thursday? Thursday, um, I kind of focus more on sponsoring for this day. So I post some sort of a screenshot. If you ever just hashtag pure romance on Facebook, Instagram, so many things will pop up. Um, so I just post a screenshot of someone else doing something really good with their pure romance business. Um, or like they paid, they bought a house, they bought a new computer, whatever. Okay. Um, let's see. I think that's well, you guys can see that on oh, my whole list there. That's the, the one that th sticks out to me. Um, Friday, I do a feel good Friday post. So that would be um, any product that doesn't fall under lingerie, lubricants, massage, or toys. Um, so like coochie, body do all that kind of stuff. Um, and I also schedule a sexy Saturday post, which would feature a lingerie piece because <laughs> y'all know I'm not going to work on a Saturday and come in here and do that. Um, but I also just, I have like my hostess coaching in here every day. Um, I have like a meet the consultant post. So I just have gotten info from other consultants around, um, just like, Hey, tell me a little bit about you kind of situation, um, onboarding. So that's on the list. That's pretty much what I do. <laughs> yeah. I like that you have, you've incorporated, first of all, you know, it's okay. Depends on how you, you organized, how your brain works. Um, you know, I noticed the first two on every day was right. Five gratitude, five mantras, and then also hostess coaching, you know, so <laughs> that's every day. And she, as she goes ahead and writes it out. So I love that. I also love that you incorporated your, um, you know, household things. I saw, you know, I, I see plant care, I think was on there every <laughs> day. I see tidy office on Friday. I, you know, I saw change sheets on Monday and that's okay to write that all down. I loved, I know when I was in the field, you know, back in the day, I always, I, I, I normally um, did sheets and towels, wash sheets and towels on Friday and then wash clothes on Monday. Like it was just a set thing. And I, I ran errands on a set, set day, but I like being able to have that all written out so everyone can see that. Um, all right. So was there anything else you wanted to show before I go on to the next question? Um, that's pretty much my to-do list. <laughs> oh, it was, it, it was great. It was, I loved that. No wonder that, uh, Susie said she thinks you're super organized. <laughs> so, well, my next question was for Susie. Susie, are you still here with us? I feel like I've, I feel like I've lost her. Let's see. Why don't we, while we're getting her back, um, why don't we go to, um, to Ashley, you promoted to director in two months, which is amazing. I know sponsoring was a big part of that. Can you share some details and your how to's? Sure. Um, so I was, cons uh, all my sponsoring that I've ever done. So, um, I'd say I've sponsored at least activated probably around 110 now between the two years. Um, I have done it all through my VIP. I have never done it at an in-home party, nothing. It's always been a, through my VIP. So I am talking to a ton of people. I am extremely consistent. Um, I do post at least six times a day. I'm always posting an algorithm booster every day. Sometimes I even do more than one a day. Um, just because I'm, especially if you have something big coming up, like my flash sale starts on Monday. So I have algorithm boosters going like crazy right now um, because I want people to see the posts when they, when they come up. So I do that. I do post um, six times a day. I do do what Sadie does. I do a welcome post um, every week. I do a top contributor contest. So if you go into your um, Facebook group and you search in insights, you can find your top contributors that tells you who's reacting, who's commenting and who's posting the most. And those people there's, I, I do top 10 and they all get Ash cash. So they all get a coupon that they have to use within one week. Um, it, I typically do top five gets $10, five through 10 get $5. So I'm doing that. Um, I'm, I, I am on the all-star team. So Jana Vukalich is amazing. Um, she does EOOs for us. So opportunity events, if you're new and you're not sure what that means, um, they're opportunity events online. So we get our people to take surveys. Um, and I honestly pitch it to everyone. We just did one last week. We did a contest and I, I won the contest with 110 surveys filled out. 
I messaged a ton of people, like hundreds upon hundreds of people uh, throughout the week to get those, but I'm getting those because it's going to get show me interest with people in my group on if they're interested in the business or not. So I'm not going straight for, have you thought about doing pure romance messaging them? I'm going, hey, I have a survey. Would you like some freebies? And we fill out the survey and they get the, you know, they get freebies. I went live yesterday with everyone that sold and I put them in a put them in a wheel so I could spin and give them freebies. So those are really, really good. If you do not have an EOO or you're curious about surveys, use them. They are really, really, really helpful. Um, and I get to know people and I get to, I have fun. Like they don't want you to be perfect. You don't need to, you don't need to be Barbie all the time. And you don't need to be perfect. Um, you don't have to know everything about a product. It's always changing. You don't need to know that. They want to know that you're a real person and they want to see you want to have fun with you because I think it's Chris, maybe it's Cheryl that says um, that they buy you and not the products and the act like not the products in the business. They buy you. So why should they buy you? Like, think about that. Why, why should they buy you? Are you positive? Um, are you showing your life and your family? Are you having fun? And how are you talking to them more than just, Hey, buy from me. So those, those are probably the biggest things. Gotcha. Gotcha. I love that. And there are a couple of questions for the panelists, for the trainers that are popping up in the chat. If you're not talking and you want to answer them, go right ahead with that. I know, um, Ashley, they're looking for if you have any um, verbiage for surveys that you want to share. <laughs> yeah, I can. Share any of those. I don't know if you can share it in the copy and paste and put it in the chat. I don't know how, how you want to do that. But while we have Susie, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I want to say hello again, friend. <laughs> I definitely want to circle back and um, pick up a, a question that we had for you, Susie. Do you, you do something every day that I think amazed all of us when we talked earlier. So can you share what that is? Um, I do about a hundred messages a day uh, because I do work full time. And so I, I can go back to that question of how do I like make time for that? So if I have 10 minutes, I'm going to send about 20 messages because I have some stuff copy paste. I have some stuff personalized already. I have some stuff because I'm focused on what I'm doing. I do 25 sponsoring, 25 booking parties, 25 follow up and 25 um, VIP or flirting, whatever you want to call it, or snoozing or however you want to say it. Um, so do I need to go, go over any of those? Uh, if you want to go over the, the um, I think you had some scripts that you wanted to share. If you want to go over those, you're more than welcome to. Do I screen share those or do I? You should be able to screen share. If you have it pulled up on your, um, on your computer, you should be able to screen share that. Okay, well, while I'm, I'm going to try to do that, I can, I, I always do at the beginning, kind of like what Sadie had, she had the birthday, I always send, um, are you doing anything fun for your birthday, and I let them reply back, like this month was, of course, my birthday month, so this was a great interaction, like, what are you doing for your birthday month, I'm doing this, you know, most of the time, some of them said, no, I'm just busy, I don't have anything planned, so I always make sure that I let them know about the discount that I offer. And um, of course, everybody's different on their discounts according to um, what, what, you're about, what you're buying and what you're buying um, discount is. And I lost y'all, so I'm gonna keep talking. <laughs> and I, you. okay, you can hear me, okay. Yep. And I also, let me go back because I think I have one pulled up that I can screen share. If I know how to do that. And if Excuse not, me. we've got um, Jill on the back end and she could probably, she might be able to share it for us as well. We're looking uh, for Susie's uh, comments. Did I do it right? Yep. You're doing okay. awesome. There's one of my birthday ones. Um, hey, beautiful lady. I see you have a birthday in October coming up soon. And so I sent this, as you can see, I sent it in the end of September. Sometimes I get it at the end of September. Sometimes it's the beginning of the month. I, I, whatever I can do um, when I remember. Um, and I, of course, I said it was my birthday month too. Of course, I'd only say that if it's my birthday month. <laughs> um, so any other time that I would kind of plug in, do you, are you doing anything fun for your birthday? Um, they usually ask me if I'm doing anything, I let them know, or, um, if it's not my birthday month, then I just, I just say what I have going on that month. 
And then I always tell them, make sure you offer your, you know, treat yourself to the 30% off um, birthday orders um, or I always offer the party. Um, this one, she did, she was doing mutton busting with me and that's what I was doing. And so I told her, well, at least you're busy, you know, get your discount. She already placed her order with me. So I will follow up with her and ask her how her order is. And then um, November is still a great time to celebrate your birthday. You know, we always celebrate one month before, one month the during and one month after. So you can always celebrate your birthday. Um, so that I would do that. That's how I'd follow up with that. Um, let me pull up something else. See if, oh, wait, I think that one was Ashley's. Mm, I stopped screen, screening, I think, or sharing. Um, another one that I do is if I'm flirting with um, someone, I, oh, do I need to talk about my, well, I could talk about flirting. So if that's cold, you could do that with cold marketing as far as if you don't know someone that well on your Facebook page, if you go off of your stories, it goes directly into their inbox. So I always, you know, comment about their outfit or comment about what they're doing or if their kids are gorgeous or, you know, whatever fun. And it puts me right into their inbox. So that's how I can start out with um, cold marketing is if I don't want to just mess with someone. Hey, I'm Susie. I know we kind of know each other on Facebook, but we really don't. I'm too embarrassed to know how I know you, but, you know, so I just comment, you know, that's a cool outfit or, um, and for some reason I can't pull up that. So maybe Jill on our back office can pull up that one. Um, I do have an example on that. Also with the birthday, I really go back to, um, Lindsay driver on you want a birthday um you were in my birthday giveaway or in my um my VIP giveaway awesome you won I booked tons of parties on that I've been using that for the last year or so um when I watched hers on um on pure business or pure business or something I watched something of that one so that was my birthday one and then this one is like, hey, that outfit on your profile picture is hot. Thanks, girl. Where'd you get it? At a boutique. Um, I don't ever have luck with that. Um, they never have my size. I know you understand. And that I was wearing my um, costume that I wore on um, Roadmap to Success on my birthday when y'all asked me to go live. And so that was really my icebreaker because I was nervous to talk to you on Roadmap to Success. So I told her that like I was nervous and she told me whatever she said it looked fun um and then I told her because I since I asked about pure romance I asked her if she's I always ask people have you ever tried pure romance before unless I know they've tried it if they've been a customer with me if not sometimes it's been a, a long time so I always just offer what we offer give them the 30 second commercial all that stuff if I'm talking to them or I offer it through the flip book and let's see, the next one was the flirting about the, um, that one was probably the next one was, um, I asked her if she wanted to do my party bus. Um, this one is a past guest. So if you're trying to follow up with past guests that I had at a party, especially if you felt like you connected with them, if they had a lot of energy, this is where I'm going to offer the sponsoring ship to those certain ladies. Um, and I always say, do you know anybody fun like you? Because I want to acknowledge that I think they're fun and I think they could do what I do um, because what we do is fun. So I want to let them know that I believe that you can do this. And I always say fun and I always say amazing and I always say um, super. Like those are my three words that I use too much, but I do it all the time. So it's fine. Um, and then I just let them know what, what offer that we have at the time. This one was, of course, a few weeks or last week when we had the anniversary sale, and I, I did sign that girl up. She's on my team now. So, yay. <laughs> so, let me ask you because I can just feel people, um, you know, uh, new partners going a hundred a day. I don't know a hundred people. So, what do you say to team members that you have that try to say, I don't know a hundred people? How do you text or message or interact with a hundred people a day? You, you do know 100 people. You can always downsize that. You do not have to start out with 100. I certainly did not start out with 100. Um, I just kind of made that my goal. And 
since I do work full time, I want to make sure I get those messages out because some things, some of the other stuff I do end up slacking or do end up not getting perfect, you know, for, you know, so I do want to make sure that I am staying connected and I want to make sure Facebook doesn't block me. I want to make sure they know that I'm sending a hundred messages a day because when I do have that great flash sale and I'm sending 300 messages a day, they can be like, oh, that girl, she sends messages. It's okay. Like they might block you for a little bit, but not like for long periods of time. Um, and I mean, just think about who, who you have, who, you know, who they, you know, you know, that, that Frank friends, relatives, acquaintances, uh, your kids, friends, if, if you have um, soccer team, baseball team, anything like that, and literally just flirt with them. You do not have to do 25 of each, just do 25 flirting, 25. And then when you flirt those 25, the next time you might do 25 sponsoring to those people you flirted with or five or 10. So you definitely can downsize it, but just start somewhere. Don't be overwhelmed. Just start talking to people. Indeed. Indeed. Um, Ashley, what do you do or what did you do to grow your VIP? Uh, <laughs> I'm the sample queen. I'm the giveaway queen. Like free stuff. Here you go. <laughs> Whatever that looks like. Um, I will, if I can share my screen, I will <laughs> flip it over so you guys can see it. Um, let me know. Can you guys see that? Yes. Okay. And if so, you want to, you can click on um, slideshow and or from the beginning. Okay. And it'll come up larger. You were right there. Right here. Got it. Got uh -huh. it. Okay. So go. this this is something I started immediately. Um, and I still do it every week. I still do this. Um, so there's a couple different options here. You can see that I am holding samples, I'm holding a product. Um, you can see the different wordage on there about what I'm using because it word wording is huge um, for how I do this. I can sometimes be like, do you want a sample and nobody will comment? And I could say like, oh, I got more samples in, in my office. Who wants one? And then they and people do comment on that one. So it's it, it, it's tricky on how you do it. Um, but this is what I use. So I do giveaways, lots of them. Um, I didn't do. I, I sectioned it out when I first started. So when I first started, I had 11 people in my VIP, 11. Um, I did not have girlfriends. I didn't have them. Uh, it was just people that I knew on my Facebook that I invited to this. So if you're new and you don't know that many people, I'll show you how to get there because I'm, I get there and I did it without not, not having it. So, um, uh, within a year and a half, I had 10,000 VIP members doing this until Facebook shut me down. Yes, they can mess with your groups. So I would highly encourage that you get their contact info because if that happens, there goes your customers. So here is a couple different options for you. Go ahead, you can screenshot them. I can share them too. Um, but here are some different ones like a toy giveaway and you can see uh, like the much love one, you can see that it says at 1500 members. So you can chunk it out to be, you know, when we, if you have 10 people, when we hit 250, I'm going to give away something. When we hit 500, I'm going to give away something. Um, and it can be something super small. It doesn't have to be huge. So um, I do sample packs. I do, we had more travel size back in the day. We don't really have a ton of travel size now. Uh, but I do those are air fresheners. You can throw an air freshener in an envelope and mail it to somebody. I do a uh, monthly bingo in my VIP. So sometimes I will do that for, for bingo cards. Like, hey, invite your 50 of your girlfriends and you get a bingo card for, for bingo Wednesday night. So there's a lot of different options for them. Um, you can do the same with your top contributors. So I talked about how I give them ash cash. That's, that's what I do now. But prior, I used to do samples. So you can see on the screen that I do those. And then here's a couple other ones. So one one I came up with a, a few months ago was a, a competition. So like it was whoever can invite the most wins. So whoever turn on your, um, your invite approval in your group and do a contest on who's going to win this. And the person that invites the most gets, gets this prize. I don't ever say what like the top is right now. Um, cause people would stop if they're like, well, I don't know any, I don't know 400 people or whatever. Um, 
so I don't tell them what it's at, but I do go through in the approvals. I do figure out who invited the most. And then I, I just do that kind of competition with them. And that one is, is fun too. So a couple of different ways to grow your VIP. These are what I use and I still use um, along with the surveys and stuff. Okay. All right. So Sadie, you're up next. <laughs> uh, what do you think contributed to your growth this year? Um, I definitely feel like I've been promoting a lot more than I have in the past. Um, I have been trying to grow my group as well. So just getting new people in there to new, see new things. And Ashley, you gave me so many great ideas. <laughs> um, but um, I've definitely been like, I guess, more confident in myself and not like, and asking people and not being afraid to ask people if they're interested. Um, I just have that mindset. What's the worst that'll happen? They say no. Okay, cool. Half the time, I'm never going to see those people again anyways. If they don't like it, they'll leave, <laughs> you know? Um, so I've just kind of had that mindset a lot more this year. Just ask. The worst that's going to happen is they'll say no, no, thank you. Um I also have been following up with people that I know are very interested in joining the business. So I have, again, it's like an Excel doc. Um, and we, I call it, well, our team calls it the get them list. And it's like anyone who is interested in booking a party and also interested in joining your team. So um, if you use the Let's Connect cards at parties, on the back, it'll say like the info on if they're interested in becoming a consultant or hosting a party. Um, so anyone who circles yes or maybe on those goes onto my get them list for whatever category. Um, and I've just been a lot better about following up with those people. And I'm a color coordinator. You guys saw that in my like monthly to-do list. Well, I have to do that visually for my, my brain, but, um, but I'm also a color coordinator. So I choose a color like that is a hot lead. So I use bright yellow. So like yellow, they are hot. They are interested. They came to me with wanting info or they're like, yes, I want to do this. I just need money for like, you know, follow up with me next month when I get paid, you know, whatever. Um, and then I also have like other colors that I kind of like color, color coordinate because not everyone wants you to follow up with them for almost every kit sale. Some people are like, eh, I, just send me the good ones. So I send them, you know, once every two to three months, just checking in. Hey, how you doing? Are you still interested? Okay, cool. Here's, here's an upcoming kit sale info. Um, so I've been a lot better about just keeping the list of people who are interested and like I said if you're a paper person get a notebook write their name their phone number their email down and then just jot down what you chatted about last time you talked um I've also been doing a lot more um like lives in my VIP group um going over the deluxe kit um so like I don't even have all of the products that come in the deluxe kit there's like maybe like five things that I don't normally have on hand that come with the deluxe kit. So I print it on a piece of paper and I'm like, look, you can even get these five things as well that I don't even have, but I just show them what it is. And then, especially with the deluxe kit, I feel like typically the price point when there's a kit sale, it's like the price around like two or three of the toys. Plus they get all the other stuff with it. So they're like, holy crap, that is a really good deal. Maybe I should jump on this time. Um, so I've been doing a lot more of that in my, um, my group. Um, I have also been doing a lot more polls in my VIP group. I love polls. My VIPs, they love putting their info. People love to tell you what they think. So make a poll. Doesn't even have to be sponsoring related. It could be anything. What should I eat for dinner? <laughs> okay. Um, but um, I've also been doing a lot more polls like on my Facebook story and my Instagram story. I'm not like an Instagram queen. Don't come to me for Instagram advice, but um, I do know how to make a story and put a poll on it. <laughs> so like when there is a really good kit sale, I will kind of do like, have you ever thought about doing pure romance? Yes, I have. Um, um, no, but I'm kind of curious. It's always want to make sure your polls are a yes, yes question. Don't be like yes or no, because the people who are like, no, they're always going to hit no. And then it just like makes the poll skew higher on the no side. Um, and we want it to be a yes, yes question. Cause even if they said the maybe not really sure, 
that's still a maybe they're still kind of interested they took the time to vote so i've been doing a lot more of those lately um and then also just sharing i i kind of mentioned this earlier with my to-do list sharing um other people's success so maybe it's someone on your team maybe it's a trainer on your team maybe you just hashtag pure romance and you're like this girl just bought a computer today an apple computer those are not cheap <laughs> you know and they use their pure romance money or maybe this girl just paid for groceries and you know whatever kind of things that you can find that are like sponsoring little pieces to put into your VIP group I've been I've been sharing I've been trying to share at least one of those a week so um because they so then they're not just seeing me they want to see other people they already see you in your VIP group you're already going to announce all the awesome things you're being able to do with your group or with your business um so sharing other people's success is they might connect with another person more than you when it comes to some sort of something like someone who you know they were almost going to lose their house last year and they're buying their brand new house, putting down payment in cash, you know, that might connect with someone if you've never been in that particular experience yourself. So, um, I've been doing all of those things. I like it. Um, so I know you, we talked a little bit about this, but I'm also kind of putting them on the spot. Um, I would love for you, because like I said, we, I, I see a lot of new names in the chat. So can you tell us, we'll start with Sadie, then we'll go to Susie and then Ashley. Can you tell me what your 30 second commercial is right now? Your elevator pitch, your, you know, we call it all different things. Can you tell us what yours is? And I know, I think, I know it, it depends on the situation, but maybe throw something out there right now. Yeah. So mine, it's like literally different every time, but the gist is the same. Um, so if I'm like chatting with someone, like at Walmart or wherever out and about in the world, I will be like, yeah, so I actually own my own business with Pure Romance. Have you ever heard of us? And that is like, you can always tell in their face right away. They're like, oh my God. Yeah. I love Pure Romance. Or they're like, wait, is this actually the company that I'm thinking it is? Cause they're like curious, but they're a little bit embarrassed to say it. Um, so after they, after I ask, yeah, have you ever heard of us? Um, I say, yeah, so I own my own business and I do in-home parties, virtual parties. I even have a private ladies group, um, where we talk about women's wellness, um, sexual wellness, and we kind of have like everything woman. So think like, bath and beauty products, face care, um, bedroom accessories, lubricants, lingerie, anything a woman could ever need. Um, we've got it. So that's kind of my gist. Yep. Love it. All right. So who's next? Who did I say? Susie, you're next. <laughs> yes. Um, so <laughs> mine definitely depends on the situation as well, but I definitely start out. I'm a small business owner um, that offers fun education for sexual health. And we are the authority of women's wellness. So we like to build confidence in women through our amazing products. And our products range between bath and beauty, skincare, spa, lingerie, um, luxury bedroom accessories, and a lot more. So anything that you could, you could think of. And I would love to offer you a sample of my favorite product. So I usually carry one of my, you know, coochie samples or something like that, or Chase Escape anything that I hand them is my favorite product. So, cause I love them all. So it's fine. And then I do offer them, I, you know, would you like to have a free sample of my favorite product? Or I would love to get you one-on-one -on, -one on my mobile boutique. Cause I do have a mobile boutique. Love it. Ashley. So mine, mine's really kind of similar to, to Susie's, but um, mine is, Hi, I am Ashley Leasing. I am a brand partner with Pure Romance. I love to empower, educate, and entertain women. I do that through in-home virtual parties, my private VIP group. Pure Romance offers products that are bath and beauty, lingerie, bedroom accessories, intimacy, and so much more. I love to spoil some ladies by giving them a free fun ladies night um, and er help helping you earn free product. What do you think? And it changes all the time uh, based on what I'm doing, but I always end with a question. Yep. 
Indeed. One of my favorite questions also is if you mention the different opportunities, whether that is to um, to book an in-home uh, event, to um, you know tell more about the business opportunity or selling products, if you can mention all of those real quick, those three opportunities, and then saying, what can I tell you more about? Because I think that it's um, so many times we jump right in into thinking, oh, I've got to tell them they only want to know about the product or, oh, they want to book a party or, oh, they want, you know, very rarely do we automatically assume they want to know about the business, right? Because we're sometimes a little nervous about that. But um, that was always one of my favorite. What can I tell you more about? So, um, all right, so bravo, especially since I put you all on the spot. Very proud of each and every one of you. That's why you are the rock stars that you are. Um, okay, so I know that we have, uh, this next question might be a little bit more lengthier, so it may be the last question, but um, Susie, you shared something interesting when we talked earlier, and I think all of us were like, oh, I've never heard that before. So can you explain, I won't steal your thunder unless you need me to, to remind you what that was. Um, could you tell us a, a little bit about that? And I don't know if you'll have the capability to show people where they can find it as well. So up to you, but I'll let you roll my friend. Yes, I believe you're talking about when I flirt. Um, I flirt on the people that I don't really know um, that well. So I put them on my favorites in Facebook. So I see all their stuff. Facebook is so, you know, we just never see everything and you have to actually, you know, put people in. If they're on your hot list, you can definitely plug their name in and go and start liking. But if you're forgetful of like me or you're busy or work full time, you can actually change your favorites. You can have 30 at a time. So let me share my screen. Let me try this again. And you should see my Facebook. Is that, can y'all see my Facebook? Yes. That's me and that, that's what she was talking about in my, my outfit. Okay, so there's several ways you can do this, but I always just click in favorites here, um, right here. If you go to favorites and then you can go just right here, just click this little, arrow and it shouldn't like I'm not sure why that half naked ladies there but whatever <laughs> so you go to manage favorites and um so you can you can actually categorize people too but if you just click manage favorites again and like if you have people like if if you should want to flirt with your own customers, but there's some consultants that I follow too, because I'm pretty good about follow-up and I don't need them on my favorites. But at first I did, but I do follow like certain people that I think that do great algorithm posts that I kind of want to steal or copy. Um, okay, so you can change. Um, can y'all still see this? Yes. Okay, so you can go through and change these people. Like if I, like this is my sister, I don't, she's not my favorite. I don't need, I can look her up <laughs> if I want to, but. I can change her back and I can take my niece off or something, or you can go through and search people. Um, it's kind of slow, but anyways, you get the gist. Like, so you can search people in here. So if I wanted to go to, I think, I think Sadie, we just became friends. So the whole, no, it's S T. I'm sorry. Like, I think I, it'll bring her up and then I could star her. Um, like this is my favorite file page, so that's why it's there. But um, but you can but you get the gist. You can go in and star people that you want. You can have 30 at a time, and it tells you up here at the top, you can add 30 friends. And so when you're trying to add someone and it tells you no, it's because you have too many, you just go through and change them out. That's all. That's all I do. Yeah, I loved that because we well, remember going back to the beginning of our interview where um Susie said that she connects with a hundred people every day. This is a great way for someone that maybe you haven't introduced pure romance yet. Maybe they're on your um, get them list or on, I used to call it my chicken list. Um, maybe they're on that and you, you are able to see what they're doing and you're able to respond. Now, of course, none of us want you to be a stalker. Don't respond to everything that's on their Facebook page, but you definitely can make connections with people by doing that, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right, Susie? That's really how you've been using it is just to start building that relationship, that flirting that you talk to us about. 
Yes, and I did that at the beginning. I really used it as my flirting. However, now I use it for my sponsoring. So I want to be, if I connected with a girl at a party, if I feel like she was funny, she was entertaining, she likes the products or she's going to love the products. And you can just see that in potential. They don't see it, but you do. Um, I make them a favorite for sure. If I want them on my team, I build my dream team. I put them on my, and they might not go on my team for a few months, but I'm going to stalk them for a few months. because I want to make sure I don't miss anything in their life. Because when they do message me, I want to be like, oh my gosh, I saw your son's Halloween costume. It was adorable. I love Freddy Cougar, whatever it may be. <laughs> so I make sure that those ladies for sure are on my 30. Um, and there's some just other people that I follow inspirational wise, like Ashley, Co. you know, like certain people I'm going to, you know, but I am used to to looking people up. So if you're not used to looking people up, this is a great way to remind you and it sees and you see their stuff. Yeah. I loved that idea. And I've been doing this for, you know, two, uh, uh, you know, I joined Pure Romance in August of 2019 and I had never heard anybody bring up their favorites. So I wanted to make sure to share that because I think that's a great habit to get into, especially for our new partners, but of course, for our veteran partners as well. So um, you guys, thank you so, so very much. Uh, I know that you said that you might be sharing, um, a couple of you said that you might share some things on the Roadmap to Success, the Pure Romance Roadmap to Success Facebook page. So you guys can, uh, those of you that are listening in can check for that. Also, don't forget this, it has been recorded so give us a couple of days and we'll get it on get it um posted on the pure romance partner training youtube site it was a little bit easier for me to say that time <laughs> um but i i don't know i think you all are probably following in the in the chat Ashley, Sadie, Susie, thank you so much. You're, I hope that you see in the chat, a lot of folks were saying, wow, a lot of great ideas, um, making them think outside of the box. So uh, I appreciate you guys spending time with us this evening and uh, have a great evening, everyone. Thank you.